I'm going to show y'all boys how to get the Chimora Gold, okay? So first to unlock the Gold Camo Challenge, you have to do the four core challenges, okay? So the four core challenges are 50 kills, 20 hip fire kills, 15 kills from behind, and 10 double kills. You can do these three challenges right here simultaneously, depending on the level of the gun. The only thing that's going to be kind of hard is the 15 kills from behind. I find that playing shipment is kind of easy for kills from behind because the spawns are so weird. The map is so cluttered that a lot of times you'll get behind people a lot easier than you would in any other map in the game. So my suggestion is just play shipment. If you don't want to play shipment, then when you go into the lobby, just try to flank. If you know they're on the left, go to the right, come from there behind, and just try to flank them. That's really like the best way to get behind the back kills. It's, 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 it's not that easy because it's not practical. It's kind of hard, but it's, it's manageable. It's just going to take some time. But I would just advise you going ahead and playing a uh, shipment. So once you complete these four challenges, you will unlock the gold challenge. The gold challenge is to get three kills without dying 10 times. Um, the gun is actually a pretty good gun. I was looking at the statistics of it compared to the other guns. And it actually has... My game crashed, as you can see, this game is fucking dog water. Oh, fuck me, dog. But yeah, the gun, um, it has higher damage compared to other guns in the game. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's not even that bad of a gun. Getting your three kills without dying ain't going to be the toughest thing in the world. Um, I was able to do it and maybe... I was able to fully level up this gun and get gold and probably like, sheesh, I don't know, maybe like an hour or two, and it took me about 30 minutes to even unlock it. So to go from unlocking it to go, it is gonna be around a two hour, two to three hour process. I'm trash at the game. Y'all could probably do like an hour and 30 minutes. It's not that hard. This is what the Chamora looks like in game gold. I'm fucking with it, it's real shiny. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. Gold is the bet is my favorite camo that I have unlocked. I haven't got Polly yet. Polly looks pretty sick, but from the guns that I actually have from the that I have unlocked, I just love gold because it's so fucking shiny, bro. Look at this shit. Ooh, this shit's blinding, low key. This is the game where I ended up getting it gold. I got it gold in one game. I got lucky and got into a bot lobby. As you can see, 64 kills playing shipment. So I'm going to show you all some of the, like, the game so you all can see how I was able to get it gold. It's not that hard. It's kind of easy. So I wrote a clip. Like, look at that, bro. The kid shot me first two times, and I still turned and killed him. Like, you know? The only problem I will say with this gun while I was using it is I felt like it lacked in damage. I know I just said it has one of the higher damages um, compared to the other assault rifles, so I'm kind of contra contradicting myself. But honestly, like when I was using this gun in shipment, I feel like it was taking one or two extra bullets to kill these motherfuckers, bro. But um, something I wasn't taking into, cons into consideration is that this gun comes with a built-in suppressor. So when you're first using it, it's gonna not have good damage because it has a built-in suppressor. You have to change the barrel um, to a different one to get rid of that suppressor so you get more damage. So it's kind of a trick uh, that you gotta do for this gun so it doesn't feel like you're shooting out fucking potatoes and green beans.